Closed. Next, we're going to proclamation and special presentations. Our first proclamation is the City of Dreams. Our first proclamation is recognized as a really important accomplishment. This year, the city passed a historic landmark celebrating 50 years since incorporation in 1961. The highlight of the celebration week was the premiere of our historic docudrama, City of Dreams. Now the movie is powerful, but a beautiful theme song. A city within a dream is earning major recognition, and I believe the reason is obvious. And on this day, they celebrate as they have incorporated the new city of Port St. Lucie. A city that was yet to have any residents. A city within a dream, a dream within our heart. Question from deep inside If we build it, will they come? We gambled and took a chance Would anyone dare to dance? The question that burned inside
Phillips, please read the proclamation. Whereas the city of Port St. Lucie celebrated its 50th anniversary during the week of April 27th, 2011. And whereas the city of Port St. Lucie partnered with the Port St. Lucie Historical Society in publishing the city's first history book, Port St. Lucie at 50, A City for All People, producing a full-length movie, City of Dreams, and producing a celebration week of community events. And whereas the highlight of the celebration week was the premier public screening of City of Dreams, a docudrama movie featuring the unique and fascinating history of the life, times, and people of Port St. Lucie. And whereas the soundtrack of the movie, including the theme song, A City Within a Dream, was composed by Port St. Lucie resident and Historical Society member Mark Barnes. And whereas Mark Barnes volunteered his time and talent to the city to compose the City of Dreams soundtrack, and in so doing exemplifies the spirit of volunteerism that is ever present in Port St. Lucie, enhancing our quality of life. And whereas Mark Barnes won the Composer of the Year, Soundtrack of the Year Award for City of Dreams at the Los Angeles Music Awards in Hollywood, California on November 10th, 2011, bringing favorable recognition to the city on national and international levels. And whereas the City Council, as elected representatives of the people of Port St. Lucie, wishes to recognize the extraordinary accomplishments of Mark Barnes and the success of the City of Dreams soundtrack and docudrama. Now therefore, Mayor Joanne Fiella does hereby proclaim the City of Port St. Lucie's appreciation for the volunteer efforts and exceptional talent of City of Dreams soundtrack composer Mark Barnes and asks that all residents be aware of his fine work and take pride that their city's historic docudrama soundtrack has been recognized at the prestigious Los Angeles Music Awards for 2011. Wow. Um, I would like to take a moment to uh, thank my city, its people, and the Honorable Council and Mayor for this wonderful recognition. I moved here in 1988 and have seen this place grow from a small town to the city it is today, and I'm very proud to call Port St. Lucie as well as St. Lucie County my home. I really don't think there's a better place to live in Florida than right here in Port St. Lucie. Yet all of this would not be possible without the support of my family and friends, all here in town, and the absolutely fabulous contributions from Miss Carol Connors, who wrote the lyrics to the music, Port St. Lucie's own Alana Ferraro, as well as Robert Navarro. And uh, please, please, the singer, wonderful job. I'd also like to thank working under the wonderful direction of Mr. Jose Garofalo and of course our own Richard McAfoos who they really did a phenomenal job putting this movie together. <clears throat> working on this music and the film was one of the most excellent adventures that I've had the pleasure of going on. The recognition I received from this music was beyond what I ever thought it would be. So I want to thank you again. I am truly honored. <laughs> <laughs> 